Hello and welcome to this training on Accelerated Reader. The purpose of this training is to talk to you about how to log in through Clever and take a quiz. In order to use Accelerated Reader, you might need to clear your cache first. And here's a picture of what that video looks like. I also have the link down in the comments here in my YouTube video. Or you might need to think about using the strategy of multiple users. And if you need the video on that, I've also included the link down in the comments of this video. So let's pretend that neither of those are issues and you're ready to go. Make sure that you sign into Clever using your username and password. And once you head into Clever, you're gonna move down the screen until you find Renaissance Learning. If you don't wanna move down the screen in order to find Renaissance Learning, you can actually click the invisible heart in the top right corner. What that means is you are favoriting that resource. Now, stored at the very top of the screen, you'll notice that Renaissance Learning now lives at the top of the screen. You won't have to search down for, at the bottom anymore. In order to get into Renaissance Learning, go ahead and click right there on the R one time. Give it just a few seconds to load and you are authenticated and ready to go. There's no need for a username and password. Clever stored that information for you. Once you're ready to take a quiz because you have completely finished reading the book, go ahead and click right here on the orange box one time in order to get into Accelerated Reader. Once you click on Accelerated Reader one time, the next screen will open up asking you to search for a specific book or quiz. Now the search area is a little bit persnickety. So if you were to search for a title, for example, if you give a pig a, and if you truncate or abbreviate, or you don't type out the entire word pancake, it's going to tell you, no, nope, I'm so sorry, there's no such title as that. You actually have to type in the entire word in order to find the book if you give a pig a pancake. Now, let me mention this to you. Over here where it says take a quiz, there is a little, it kind of looks like the letter V that's open up just a little bit. I'll call it an arrow. Let's click on that arrow one time. Now, different books have a different number of quizzes and you'll see right here that there are two different types of quizzes associated with this book. Friends, the quiz that you are looking for will always be the reading practice quiz. All right, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and click right here where it says start quiz. It is my job to carefully answer these questions and I cannot let a brother or a sister help me or a mom or a dad. So friends, this is something that is independent and that you do all by yourself. I read this book all by myself, so I'm going to choose this one down here and I'm going to click start quiz. Friends, it's always my recommendation that you read through each question two times before answering any of the questions. And it's also my recommendation that you read through all answer choices carefully. So read each question twice and then read through those answer options. Now, if you choose an answer and you change your mind, you do have the ability to click on a different answer. So don't panic if you accidentally choose the wrong answer. Each time you finish a question, please make sure that you come down here to the blue button that says next. That's the only way you'll move on to the next question. Once you have answered every question in the quiz, you'll see this screen. All right, friends. When you have finished reading a book, it will ask you how you liked or enjoyed the book. So look at the different faces on the stars. They represent different reactions. Then choose whether you want to give the book a one-star rating, a two-star rating, a three-star rating, or a four-star rating. Once you've made that choice, choose the next button. After choosing the next button, you have some information that comes back to you. It lets you know how many questions you answered correctly, how many points you earned, what your total score was, the total number of words read inside of that book. And then you have one, two, three options. You can either review the questions if some of them were inaccurate or incorrect. You can view your TOPS report to see how you're doing, or you can simply click finish. For right now, I'm going to choose finish. After choosing the finish button, if I would like to take a test on another AR book, 
then I'm going to click on the house right here. When I click on the house, it's going to let me choose the accelerated reader button all over again. And then from here, I can search for another book either by title, author, quiz number, or key word. Team, let me mention one more important detail. If you enter a quiz and you realize, oops, this is not the right quiz, over here on the top left corner, you'll notice that there is a button that lets you quit or stop this quiz. If you click this button and quit a quiz, please make sure that you have mom or dad email your teacher as soon as possible. We want to make sure that we go in and that we remove that from our system so that you are not prevented from ever taking that quiz in the future. We want to make sure that you have the ability to take it in the future just in case you want to. So please email your teacher as quickly as possible if you accidentally entered the wrong quiz. Team, thanks so much for watching today's video and have a great day.